Hey everybody, my name is Jared and I am a Master Mason in the state of Mississippi in the United States of America. And today's viewer's question is perhaps a sticky one. They ask, would you please elaborate on a Grand Master making a man a Mason on site? Well, what I can tell you about is Mississippi. And here in Mississippi, the answer is quite simple. Cannot does not, no right for it to ever happen. Done. <laughs> well, that would make a very boring, boring video, so let's talk a little bit more about it. Uh, there is specifically a mention in our bylaws, in the Williams Digest laws here in Mississippi, that covers that, so let's talk about it. Here in the section that specifically points out uh, decisions of the Grand Master that are subject to approval of the Grand Lodge. So in other words, the check and balances of the Lodge here. If we scroll down and look at some of the digest and judicial decisions, we will find out that number 17 says, the right of the Grand Master to make masons at sight does not exist by virtue of any landmark or ancient regulations and is not conferred by the Constitution or laws of this Grand Lodge. Now, take that for what it is. The last few words there of this Grand Lodge. There are other Grand Lodges that do permit this activity and what it simply is, as best as I understand it, I was initiated passed and raised here in the state of Mississippi. So these are the laws that I know. Uh, if I understand the concept of making a mason at sight, uh, that is the Grand Master's ability to simply look at somebody and say, he is a Master Mason. And from that moment on, uh, that brother doesn't have to go through any of the ceremonies, doesn't have to learn any of the proficiencies, but immediately gets all of the rights and privileges of being a Master Mason in that jurisdiction. Something I would be interested in learning about if you have that, if the Grand Master has that authority in your jurisdiction, what does that mean for the man who was right then made a Mason? Uh, here in Mississippi, um, you can be a Master Mason and not be affiliated with a Lodge, but you are highly encouraged to be a member of a lodge. Um, so I would wonder that if you are made a Master Mason by the Grand Master, would you not still have to turn around and petition a lodge for membership? Uh, and I wonder how that goes. Uh, so if you're uh, in one of those jurisdictions, if you can shed any light onto that subject, uh, leave it down in the comments below. So uh, this specifically says uh, that, that the virtue that, that it does not exist in any landmark. Um, so here is where some uh, possible contention, if you like, or disagreement uh, comes into play. Uh, in the state of Mississippi, in our bylaws, there are enumerated 21 um, landmarks that cannot be changed or removed ever from the bylaws. That's it, 21 of them. Now, I think what most people are referring to uh, when they think of a Grand Master having this prerogative or authority, uh, they are referring back to uh, Mackey's list of landmarks. Uh, so let's read that together. There's some history that goes along with this. Uh, on this website, it reads, uh, Mackey's list of landmarks were written in October 1858 by Albert G. Mackey of South Carolina in the American Quarterly Review of Freemasonry, Volume 2, page 230. Uh, Mackey's list of landmarks was later included in Mackey's textbook of Masonic jurisprudence. Many other Masonic writers have disagreed with Mackey about this subject, and it goes on from there. Uh, so Mackey had a list here. Uh, which you can peruse of 25 different landmarks of Freemasonry. And uh, right up here we have number eight on his list is the prerogative of the Grand Master to make Masons at sight. Uh, and so since the writing of that, um, this has been a thing. Now let's 
first remember here that this was one man's writings on what he considered to be the landmarks. And sure enough, as time passed, we ended up having uh, several different states uh, that have adopted this. Uh, so, for example, here in, uh, according to this website at least, in South Dakota, specifically lists the 25 landmarks that Mackey wrote out. Uh, so, it changes from jurisdiction to jurisdiction, but in the opinion of the Grand Lodge of the State of Mississippi, uh, those 25 landmarks are uh, not what governs our business. Uh, there are 21 of them, and we could enumerate that in another video if we like, uh, but for the sake of this discussion, it is simply to be said that in, in Mississippi, uh, there is no method, uh, no path, in which a Grand Master or any other Mason in the state uh, can make somebody a Mason at sight. So that's the way that goes. Uh, if you have any other question about this or any other uh, Freemasonic topic, then please leave it down in the uh, comments below and I will do my best to research and answer it for you. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.